What's up guys, today we're taking a look at this knife. This is a Wii knife, discontinued Wii model, uh, from when Wii Knives was first uh, around, first started their company. They released a few models and this was one of the first ones they came out with. This is, uh, back then they didn't used to name them by names, they used to name them by model numbers. So this was the uh, 617E, is what this one was, or the 617 model. So, it has a high polished satin blade here, so let me rub that off, you can see that this is what we knives, uh, one of we knives first models, you can see that nice high polished satin blade it's a D2 steel, back then um, Civivi knives weren't even a thing yet, I don't think, and so we knives came out with uh, more cheaper models, this one came out it was around $100-ish, give or take um, and uh, it was excellent for the time um, when we knives first started um, it had a titanium pocket clip. Back then they used a proprietary hardware. It was the star, these star hardwares. It was like a star bit you had to use for these. It was uh, something you had to get from Wii Knives directly. Kind of interesting. It's got this tie pocket clip here, which actually works really nice. I really like this pocket clip. It looks super cool. I like how it's not super, you know, super skinny, but not super wide. It just, it works. It's got a nice shape to it. Got this nice titanium backspacer there with the little lanyard tool. I like how they did that with this jimping on top. Feels really good. It's got jimping on the back there. Um, and this this feels a lot like today's Civivi knives. So if you felt like the um, Civivi knives that recently are released or, you know, Civivi knives now, that's what this feels like. It feels like this was um, Civivi before Civivi came around. Um, since it was Wii knives cheaper models. You can see the flipping action and everything. It's, it's very similar to a Civivi knife. The action... The flipper, tab, the feel, the detent, the feel, the bearings, just everything about it reminds me of Civivi knives now. Um, a lot like today's Praxis or, you know, things like that. Um, it's a really cool knife. Yeah, it's got this really cool harpoon-shaped blade. You can see there, harpoon, harpoon tip, uh, kind of a drop point. Very interesting. Um, it's very, I like the lines of it. It looks, you know, kind of cool. It's a slightly ugly you know, a little bit ugly, but I don't know, it just kind of nice. It's very contoured. The handles are thick. You can see that it's got thick handles of G10, but it's kind of contoured, so it like fits your hand really well. It's very, it fills the hand nicely. That's that's something about it. It's not thin. It fills your hand really well without being super thick. Um, simple liner lock, you can see there. See, there's the uh, engagement with the tang of the blade. You release that. Good, good access to the liner. You can see the jimping sticks down there. And uh, you can get your thumb in there pretty well. It's not like, you know, the biggest uh, access, it, you know, not the biggest cutout for access, but it, it's pretty good. You can get to it just fine, and then it drops. Whoops. It drops with a little bit of encouragement. Sorry there. Drops with a little bit of encouragement. Not too bad. Just a little bit of shake, and it goes down. It's on bearings. We knives are made in China, of course. This is D2, like I said, and G10. This is like... A really cool feel of G10. It's like um, it's not peel and ply texturing. It's more like a just like a fine, like line texturing, sideways lines kind of deal. It's really cool. I like how they chamfered the edges, made it made it contoured. The whole the whole scales are pretty much contoured all the way across, which are really makes it feel really good in the hand. It's got this jimping up top for your thumb. Fits right on top of them when it when you hold it, your thumb lands right on that jimping. It feels really good. Uh, it's got the three three lines here, which kind of correspond to, you know, the the Wii pivot, the Wii uh, logo on the pivot, and uh, also the back the pocket clip here. You can see the Wii logo there, and then you also have the lines there as well. And you got some lines here. I mean, it all really goes together. The design, um, the stars are a little bit interesting. That's a kind of a thing they moved away from. Now they're using Torx bits, of course. Um, but this was kind of how Wii Knives started. It's, it's really cool to see, if you've tried one of these older ones, to see the evolution from where they started to where they are now. Um, the only other Wii Knife I have right now is the Wii Banter, which I will compare it to here in a minute. This 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 blade gets fingerprints on it really well, really easily. You can see there, much better. But yeah, it's really cool to see how how far they've come from this, which this is a very well-made knife. I mean, it's it's really quite well-made. Um, you know, solid lockup, excellent, pretty pretty good action, and then, you know, it's perfectly centered as well, runs on bearings, pretty good detent, medi medium detent, nothing super snappy, nothing super weak, just good enough to get it out. 
like I said, it feels a lot like some UV knives. So they've definitely stepped up from this in the Wii, not in the Wii line. Uh, their stuff nowadays is, you know, a little bit better quality, I, I would think. Um, this feels more like a Civivi, but it, it's still very good. Maybe like a really premium Civivi, that's kind of what this feels like. But uh, yeah, it's really cool. Kind of a thicker blade stock, but it comes down to a pretty thin edge. Cool blade shape. It's overall, a pretty interesting knife. Um, let's do some size comparisons up against my other Wii knife that I own, the Wii Banter. You can see here, it's a big knife. Uh, it's got a 3.8 inch blade, and uh, so 8.6 inches overall, so it's, it's pretty big compared to the Banter. We'll compare it to a bug out as well. So you can see definitely full size, larger knife. I like I like these this, this size. This is a good size for my hands particularly because um, I like bigger knives. We'll also compare it to a uh, QSP Penguin. See there. And then we'll also compare it to some larger knives like the uh, PM2 and uh, the ZT0308. So you can see there it's a slightly longer than the Spyderco PM2 there, and uh, maybe not quite as long, just almost as long as the 308, not quite, but it's, you know, a little bit slimmer this way, so kind of cool. And you have a long, slender design. If you can get a hold of one of these, they're definitely fun to try out. It's cool to see what Wii knives were like when they first started, and then how far they've come from there. Um, I think they did a really good job with the ergonomics on this knife. It's very comfy. Um, I mean, my hand kind of just fits there and it's very it just lays there on on the on the contoured scales really nice it's just feels good in the hand it fills the hand it feels like good grip it's it's just nice uh specifically how, how your hands interact with this blade shape this handle shape it's just really cool so if you guys get a chance definitely check this one out um i'm going to take the weight see how much this guy weighs It always, it always wants to, there we go, the camera always wants to get blurry whenever I pull out the scale for some reason. Let's weigh this. It weighs 4.4 ounces, so it's not going to be super heavy in the pocket, but you might feel it. It's kind of just, I'd, I'd call that average weight as far as pocket knives go, especially for a larger knife like this. That's pretty, pretty good ratios. Um, inside, it is milled out for weight reduction. You can see the little pockets in there a little bit. So it's got the inset liners. That's a cool thing about this knife, is it has like inset steel liners with these contoured G10 scales over top of it. I wish more knives would have inset liners because it just it makes knives feel much better. It makes them it makes them be able to be thinner while still being contoured, um, especially when you have you know scales like this. It just it feels really good, and then you don't have the the steel liners sticking out or anything. So it's really nice, really really nice. So, if you guys get a chance, definitely check this out. Uh, it's not like amazing, crazy good in any way. It's, it's just your average Wii knife, your average CVV knife. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, it's not quite as high as Wii, Wii knives are now. But I would say it's even with high quality CVV knives, probably. Um, but it's really cool to see where, CVV, where Wii knives started as a company. This was one of their first models, so it's cool to see it. Cool to try it out. Let me know what you guys think of this design. Let me know if you like it. Um, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, have a great day. Goodbye.